YouTube, what's up? It's Hadrian here and my hair is looking crazy. Whatever. I am here today with a quick little tutorial, but first of all, let me know how you guys are doing. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm doing great and I'm here with a quick and easy DIY. You've seen me dye that Chanel ball, you saw me dye that Proenza bag, and now I'm here dyeing yet another handbag. Now this one is a cute little Rebecca Minkoff. This is the, oh, I don't remember the name. It's um the triple zip something, something zip bag. Now the inside is super clean. The outside is in really good condition. The leather is excellent, but I do have a couple little stains throughout the back and here in the top corner. Now, I tried getting it out, but to no avail, the black faded, or the black, the, the stain on the back faded just a little bit, but the front is still as dark as ever. And since I'm gonna be reselling it, I thought, why not just dye it black? Black is a popular color, and black is going to cover up that stain. So today we're gonna go ahead and re-dye this bag black. And if you guys are interested in this bag, I'm actually gonna have it for sale. I'll have the links down below, because once I have this bag re-dyed, I'll have the video up right at the same time. And if anyone is interested, I'll have it for sale in my shop. It's gonna be, all the information is gonna be down below, but you can purchase it on Posh, Mercari, Vinted, and I think those are the three apps that I use. <laughs> under It's Hadrian, just like the name of this um, channel. Or you can find me at bitsandbobsaccessories.com. Of course, again, all links will be down below. And here's the bag. Oh, and just a quick little thing. This bag is normally a crossbody, but you can actually get this chain and pop the little thing right through right here, like that and you can actually just attach the hook right there and then do the same to the other side and then it's like voila you got yourself a little shoulder bag and i feel like a lot of people don't know that about their rebecca minkoff bags but the stories are true these bags can be turned into evening bags so just like that, you now have an evening bag from day to night and you can just carry it on your shoulder and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started with the three dye and let me show you what you guys need. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is a, well I was gonna say a clean surface, but you know a surface that you don't mind getting dirty and I always use like this piece of recycled priority mailbox. And then you're going to need your item that you're going to be dying, which is going to be this gorgeous Rebecca Minkoff bag. Of course, you're going to need some dye. We're going to use the Angelus leather dye in black. Beautiful, gorgeous, yes. And like I always say, don't forget to put the dye inside the box. That is essential. You're going to need some paint brushes or you can use the dauber that comes with the dye which looks like this it's usually not black but this is already used usually it's like a off-white color and then we're going to be using this angeles black leather dye and this is or this is the angeles black acrylic paint so sorry this is Oh, what it looks like. It's just a cute little paint. Come on, focus. Yes, there it is, beautiful. And those, oh, and of course, we are going to be using this nail polish remover. And this is going to be used to take off that top coat on the leather. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the nail polish remover. And we are going to just brush it across the leather. I'm gonna use this um, paintbrush right here. 
and just apply it generously throughout. Now this is essential in dyeing your bags or leather shoes or whatever. Especially if you're not dyeing it the same color. If you're not dyeing it the same, if you're dyeing it the same color, this isn't really that big of a deal. Um, if you're just doing like a touch up, you don't really need to do this step because you're dyeing it the same color anyway. But if you're going from one color to another, it's essential to do this step because you're opening up the pores in the leather and making it ready to accept that dye. So this part is pretty essential. And you're going to want to make sure to try to get as even of a coat as possible. Well, not even, but you want to get every inch of the bag coated. That way it will ensure a easy and quick and even dyeing process. polish remover to dry just grab a pair of scissors and cut off this little piece of string that's sticking out right here and it takes about five to ten minutes for the rubbing alcohol to dry it doesn't take that much time at all then i'm going to get the dye and shake it up really really well make sure to place the dye inside the box like that i cannot stress how important that is because this dye loves spilling and it's happened to me so many times and i use the dauber that the um that the dye comes with and I use that to spread the dye over the entirety of the bag. If you can't get into all the nooks and crannies, use the paintbrush to um, get them. And if you get some dye on the hardware, don't be alarmed. It's easy to take off. I'll show you how to do that in the second half of the video, so make sure to watch that. And I'll also show you how to dye the fabric part of the zippers later on as well. But try not to get the dye on that fabric part because it is very hard to open and close zippers if you do that because the fabric becomes hard. Um, if you want to see the proper way of dyeing the zipper fabric, that'll be in the second half of the video as well. So please make sure to tune into that. And once you coat the bag evenly once, the um, the leather dry or the leather dye dries very quickly. So you can start a second. Uh, coat already and once you do the second coat throughout the entirety of the bag I allow the bag to dry 24 hours and then I do one last coat then I allow the bag to dry another 24 to 48 hours and I get some leather conditioner and condition the entirety of the bag and when you do that some leather dye might come off onto the fabric or towel that you're using to apply the conditioner but don't worry about that it's okay I will just allow it to dry another 24 to 48 hours before actually using but that conditioning is really important because the leather dye does dry out the bag so it's important to make sure to get that moisture back in and there you have it, the leather is all dyed and all we have left is to dye the fabric of the zippers and to clean the hardware. And if you want to see that, definitely subscribe so you'll be notified for when that video is uploaded. And if you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'll have all the links for everything that I use in this video down below as well as a link if you would like to purchase the bag. And thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.